Not all soil by nature has a balance of nutrients. Some of these nutrients are lacking in the soil. In order for your plants to get the proper amount of nutrients, you have to amend your soil. On today's video, I'm going to share with you how I mix my own super soil. But before we continue this video, don't forget to subscribe below and click the bell so you can get notified of my next video. On today's video, we're going to create our own super soil recipe. And here in my garden, I always create a soil recipe to give to my plants. And if you watch this video, you can use my, my recipe so you can give this uh, to your plants. And I use here the happy frog. And what is good about happy frog, it is a natural pot, uh, potting soil. And I use this for a few years in my garden. I love this product. And if you can see a happy frog in your area, get uh, one bag or two bags because this is really great in the soil. And those who are growing naturally, like myself, so I would recommend the happy frog. Now, let me explain to you why using happy frog. So bear with me because there are terms that it is foreign to me. English is not my first language, but I will explain in my best knowledge so you can understand me. And uh, happy frog contains a powerful root stimulator called mycorrhizal fungi. I hope I pronounced the word micro, mycorrhizal. And as I, I mentioned, just bear with me. Uh, mycorrhizae occurs naturally in forest soil where the humus content is high and the soil is striving with microbial life. Now once in contact with the plant's root system, these micro mycorrhizae go to work right away, colonizing directly onto the roots. This acti activity dramatically expands both primary and secondary root development enabling the plant to take up more nutrients. Now, the benefits of happy frog is also enhance the fruits and flower production. And it contains a humic acid, which is a natural occurring material that is extracted from lunar diet. Here again, another word, lunar diet, that's another foreign term. And if I don't pronounce it properly, then just bear with me till the end, okay? And, uh, now this humic acid, once the decomposition of this material will increase or may increase micro, micronutrients uptake. And that's the reason that happy frog is, is a smart way to give that to your plant. And so let's go ahead and mix our own super soil. Now the product that I, I, I mix with the soil is the Epsom salt. I bought a lot of Epsom salt bag in, in that I put stuff here in my garden. So always add Epsom salt, no matter it any kind of plants you always add. So this is your the essential uh, nutrients. Then the uh, bone meal, I use the bone meal. I also use the blood meal, and also I use the organic lime garden line now I will explain it to you while using this product so there are only big number that your plants need the nitrogen phosphorus and potassium they call that in in PK now the nitrogen targets to the top of the plant which is the leaves and also the uh, phosphorus target down below which is targeted to the roots and the potassium targets the overall life of the plants. This the potassium potas is responsible in maintaining the life of the plants. It's just like in human life that what maintains us to live is our uh, immune system. So your you should our immune system. So I compare the the potash to immune system where if your immune system is not working properly then you end up having problem. So the same thing in the plants. So the potassium, if it is lacking, then diseases would attract to your plant. So you have to complete that number. The other nutrients is okay if you're missing with it because they are less important. The nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus are the main nutrients that you add to your to your plants. Now, okay, let's go ahead and and I also use the lime. So 
always use lime because lime is used, it, it makes the soil, it, it gives a balance of acid. So that's why you are using lime. Don't, too, don't put too much of the lime because it would, you don't want the soil to become so, uh, to, to lower the pH. So I use the lime just maybe, maybe half of the cup. But today's video I use because this is one bag, so I use the one cup of lime. So we are doing the one to one ratio. So everything measured in, in cup. Okay, let's go ahead. Just mix this well. So we're going to mix this in one cup ratio. So always wear gloves when you do gardening because you're mixing with fertilizer. Even though this is natural, but always a habit of wearing gloves even if you're not handling with products. Okay, there's one cup. Uh, blood meal. And then one cup of bone meal. I almost ran out of bone meal. So I run out, almost run out. So again, one cup of uh, bone meal and then salt, Epsom salt. So one cup of, one cup of Epsom salt. So this is one to one ratio. So everything is measured in cup. So the bag that I have here is 50 pounds bag and uh, since this is you create your own recipe so it is your own recipe there um, there is a recommendation in the bag but on this video we are creating our own soil recipe now another one is the lime so always use lime because this one ball it gives a balance okay, it's in your garden okay, it's in the soil so always wear gloves I you know when you do this kind of work okay now everything is is here in the soil let's go ahead and mix this so we will mix this properly so you mix them mix everything in the soil properly oh I just wasted a little bit of soil in here so this is good about gardening I enjoyed gardening here and I hope you guys uh, get into gardening and this is advanced gardening when, when I mean advanced that means that I use a different type or methods of growing plants I use aquaponic hydroponics uh, the wiki grow rain tower so those are the advanced gardening and I enjoyed sharing my passion to you guys and I hope you go into gardening okay now it is mixed so that is the way how you create your own recipe again in a 50 pound bag so give a one to one ratio so one cup everything is measured in cup 
So one cup of bone meal, one cup of blood meal, one cup of Epsom salt, and one cup of lime, garden lime. So those are the materials that you add to your soil. Now, to to make it more usable a lot, so you can use a lot of this uh, potting soil, what I do here in my garden, I in every container that I use, I fill the half container with the mix of my soil that the one the recipe that I use then half is the uh, regular soil the top soil and I mix that so I can use more of the soil in the garden and then I will maintain the uh, Epsom salt so every two weeks I mentioned that last video that every two weeks give one teaspoon or one spoonful of Epsom salt to all your plants it doesn't matter if it is flower visible trees you always uh, use that and on this video in this channel and I will ex I will share with you guys why I use cashew greens in my channel because it, it, the cashew greens is a home for education so it means I'll be there to educate you on about on advanced gardening and also is a home for creation so what I have created here in my garden I'll share that to you so you can create your own gardening stuff and also it is a sealing point where you sell your your plants whatever you do in the garden you can sell them so that's part of the channel so I am I create the channel so I can educate you guys and you grow with you as I grow you also grow with me and thank you for watching and I hope this video would help you and start and start growing and see you next week on my my video this is my video for today and please comment below share with your friends